A few months back, I made a video showing you guys my favorite skins for each Mortal Kombat character. And boy, did you guys let me have it. Even though I admit some of those skins were trolls and, and the video was just to be fun and entertaining, you guys did not <laughs> give me any grace whatsoever. You guys destroyed me in the comment section telling me how wrong I was. So, let's be wrong again. Let's see if I get it wrong again today in my list of the worst Mortal Kombat skins for each Mortal Kombat character. Now remember guys, this is my personal list and you guys are entitled to your own opinion. Now, feel free to destroy me once again in the comment section. It honestly was kind of funny. But let's get right into it and once again I will leave a disclaimer. I will not be doing every single Mortal Kombat character in the franchise as most characters in the franchise are forgotten characters and have not been in the Mortal Kombat game for over 20 years. Also, those older characters usually only have one to three skins, so it's no use even trying to make a list on those. So yeah, with that out of the way, it's Waffles, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like videos like this, and let's get right into it. With a list like this, I think it's obvious to start off with some of the most obvious picks, and we're going to start off with Sub-Zero. Now, if you played the older Mortal Kombat games, you already know the answer to this, and Sub-Zero's worst skin has to be his Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance skin with the ponytail. This alternate costume is easily his worst skin, as the hair is white for some reason, making him look old. The top of his head is bald. It just doesn't look good at all. It just, it doesn't say ninja, it says, I'm trying to be a samurai ninja. With the mask, it, it just doesn't match up to me. It just doesn't match up. We all know this is the worst skin for Sub Zero, and hopefully, I'm starting off on good footing. Next up is Reptile, and from the same game, Reptile's worst skin is his Deadly Alliance skin. Now, I don't know what they were thinking when they made Reptile like this. I actually hate Reptile turning into an actual Reptile. I wish he would have stayed human like the other ninjas and maybe gave him some scales or something, but turning him into a Reptile just doesn't seem right. That's like turning Sub-Zero into a snowman or saying, hey, let's turn Scorpion into a freaking campfire. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Just keep them ninjas. They're ninjas. Reptile is supposed to be all about stealth. Him and Smoke are, in my opinion, the most coolest ninjas in the whole series. Now don't get me wrong, there are some good versions of the Reptilian Reptile. <laughs> no pun intended, I guess. But this one is just outrageous. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know, versions like the Shaolin Monks version of Reptile, pretty cool. You know, I prefer human, yes, but, you know, pretty cool nonetheless. But this, this is just insane it's like a it's what is it what is it it's it's like a dinosaur or something i don't know it does not look good at all it does not look good at all i'm pretty sure who created this is definitely fired let me know in the comment section below if you guys prefer a human reptile or the lower reptilian looking reptile oh my gosh I feel like I'm on a roll right now. I feel like I'm on fire. Now, next worst skin for a character in Mortal Kombat is definitely have to go to Night Wolf from Mortal Kombat Deception, his alternate skin. Now, this skin is pretty atrocious because it doesn't know whether or not it wants to look more Native American tribe -y or if it wants to be punk rock or if it wants to be hippie 70s, I don't know. It's, it's like a disgusting combination of all three. Whoever created this skin obviously must hate Nightwing because they gave him this disgusting, filthy, unparalleled version of a mohawk I have ever seen in my entire life. The NBA 2K mohawk looked better than this. This is just disgusting, okay? They completely destroyed this character with this costume. And most people don't even know this costume exists. That's how bad this costume is. Like the other two are pretty bad. They're they're very bad actually. But this one, this one is disgusting. The only reason it's number three is because it's like no one really knows about it. You know, nobody really talks about this skin. But bro, this skin is de destructive. Destruct. Like it's like like they 
They let a kid draw this. Like, uh, you know what? Next skin, next skin. I don't even want to talk about it. Now with all of the obvious worst skins out of the way, we're now moving into the controversial territory. So I think we're going to start off with Quan Chi. And his worst skin, in my opinion, is Mortal Kombat 1 skin. A lot of characters on the list from here on out, um, when I pick their worst character, their skin may not be as choices as the first three, but compared to all the other skins, it's probably going to be the worst one out of those. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the skin that I choose to be their worst is actually bad, it just means that compared to the other ones that that is the worst one out of all of them. Now back to Quan Chi, in Mortal Kombat 1, there's this trend of like keeping the characters super clothed, I don't know, that kind of sounds like very very weird to say but yeah more combat is kind of like a sexually explicit slash gory type of game it's an r-rated type of game so like in mortal combat 1 there's a trend of like having them have like little to no skin showing so in mortal combat 1 quan chi's skin of having him like fully clothed with this little trench coat looking thing it kind of makes him look a little less evil in my opinion now don't get me wrong the trench coat and everything it does look nice and it does fit the title of a sorcerer but in my opinion the older style that showed more of his gray skin and his tattoos and stuff like that it looked a little bit more evil and more intimidating all right next up is the other sorcerer shang Tsung, and shang Tsung has great costumes throughout the years i don't really think there's any costume for shang Tsung that i dislike throughout the years but this skin is very bad okay it's very bad it was once great but when they remade it in mortal kombat 1 the newest mortal kombat they did it no justice they did it injustice huh get it all right all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, we all know. This skin is the Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance remake. Mortal Kombat 1 has a history of butchering remake skins from the older games, but this one is just horrible. Like, they took one of the best skins for Shang Tsung and they kind of destroyed it. It looks so weird. I, I, I can't explain it. It just, the, the face skin, it just doesn't match the skin. It's just, it's just so bad, okay? It's just so bad. Like it, it's it's a oh, I, I just don't know how to explain it. Like I seriously sat here and thought of many ways I can explain how this skin is bad, but you just just look at it, just look at it. It's like I think I think the main thing that makes this skin look bad is the face skin, like the beard and everything and the hair. It just doesn't match the face skin. I think that's why the skin is so bad. Like it's it just doesn't match. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. But out of all the skins throughout the years. Shang Tsung has had pretty much the best skins, and I don't think he's really had any bad skin. It's probably another bad skin that you guys think is bad that I don't think is bad, but I'm pretty sure every skin that he's had over the years has been a good representation of him. But this right here is just disgusting, okay? It's just disgusting. Next up is the menacing, evil, most infamous villain in Mortal Kombat, Shao Kahn. Now, Shao Kahn's worst costume design. It's definitely in Mortal Kombat 11. We're not gonna take too much time on this, okay? They mixed him with a. Isn't he like a hybrid dragon? Baraka? I don't know what he is, but it's just horrible. It's like the guy of Ben 10, um, Kevin. It's like Kevin 11 when he started merging with all those freaking aliens and stuff. He just doesn't look right, alright? He doesn't. He just looks weird, okay? He just looks weird. Alright, let's just be honest. We don't need to take too much time on this. He just looks weird. All right. I personally prefer Mortal Kombat 1 Shao Kahn over Mortal Kombat 11. The horns are annoying, but I prefer the horns over the Baraka hybrid body. It just looks nasty. It just looks weird. Next up is the most infamous ninja, the poster board of Mortal Kombat, Scorpion. The one that had Boon meat rods. Alright. Now, his worst skin definitely has to be Mortal Kombat X. The UV ray, the the heat scan skin, whatever it's called, you know what I'm talking about. The one from Alien vs Predator. That is the worst skin. It looks horrible. It messes with your eyes. It just looks weird. It's over the top, and he was even banned in tournaments. All right. If a skin gets banned, that's how you know it's bad. All right. This, this is the worst skin ever to exist for this character, and it was very unnecessary. I don't know what they were thinking with that skin. I don't know who thought that was cool. And I barely even see that skin online when I play Mortal Kombat X. So yeah, 
the worst skin for Scorpion, definitely the Heat Scan skin. Whatever, you, whatever you want to call it. All right. Okay. I don't know the name of it. All right. Damn. Now, if you're an OG fan of Mortal Kombat, you might want to skip this one because it's probably going to piss you off. Okay. And if you're one of those people who believe that everything that's nostalgic and the older things are the best things, then you might want to skip this one as well. Because Sonya's worst costume in Mortal Kombat is her first ever skin in Mortal Kombat 1. The whole her karate 70s jogging tracksuit skin, okay? It's the worst skin, alright? I'm sorry, okay guys? I'm sorry. I know you guys think that the older stuff is the best stuff. But this is just her worst skin, alright? I don't even know why they gave her this skin because she's supposed to be in the military. She's supposed to be like a special agent. I don't know, but did she just go to the Mortal Kombat tournament on her morning jog or something? I don't know, okay? I'm sorry. It's the worst skin, alright? It, it doesn't represent the character and what she is today. And comparing to all the years, this is her worst skin, alright? I'm sorry. She has a lot of good skins over the years. I don't really see any bad skins for her. So, even if you don't say the skin is bad, which I think is pretty bad, it doesn't stack up to the other skin. So, by default, it is her worst skin, alright? So I still win. <laughs> Next up is the lovable Johnny Cage. Now Johnny Cage's worst skin, in my opinion, is definitely the Mortal Kombat 9 suit. That suit is horrible. The MK4 suit, the tuxedo looks way better. He did uh he just looks it just looks weird. Like the suit looks big, it looks baggy, it looks a little like it's wet or something. I don't know, it just looks weird. The purplish blue it just doesn't match Johnny Cage's swagger. You know, he got more swagger than that. I just don't like that suit. Um, out of all his skins, Johnny Cage is another character. Just like the rest of the characters on this list, they pretty much have good skins throughout the whole franchise. But this skin, it just rubs me the wrong way. It just doesn't feel Johnny, you know? It feels like Johnny drunk Johnny. Like, you know, he was drunk or something. Like, he, he got beat up so bad that he went into depression, and now this is Johnny. That's what that suit gives me. The suit is just bad, in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And another disclaimer before I go to the next character is that I know the Mortal Kombat 1 skins, the seasonal skins, are atrocious. But that would just be an easy cop out, you know? So we're going to try to keep it into like the actual gaming skins and not like the seasonal skins, you know? So yeah. Moving on to everybody's favorite Special Forces member, Jax. Now Jax, his worst skin is definitely have to be... His Mortal Kombat Armageddon the alternate skin, the one with the chain. Now I know in my video I did make this skin one of his best skins, but that was obviously a troll. Okay, we already know this skin is so cringe. The big, <laughs> the big dragon medallion with the, <laughs> with the hoodie and the backwards cap. Come on, man. Come on. They, they, they went overboard with this. Okay. They definitely went on board with this. Nice, nice try. Nice try, not executed well, okay? It just was not executed well. It just looks cringe. And it just looks very, hmm, what's the word for it? Hmm, for lack of better words, we're going to say cliche, okay? We're going to say cliche. We're not going to use the R word. <laughs> all right, guys, all right, guys. All right, moving on to Earth Realm Shaolin. Starting off with Liu Kang. Now, Liu Kang's worst skin, in my opinion, is definitely his Mortal Kombat 11's default skin, okay? Not Fire God Liu Kang, because Fire God Liu Kang is obviously one of his best skins, but the default skin in Mortal Kombat 11, compared to all his other skins, which are very similar, it just doesn't match up to those. I don't really like the jacket, shirt, combo. I just, I don't know. It just looks kind of weird, in my opinion. It kind of looks how he looked in the movie, the Mortal Kombat movie, the first movie, where he had the little jean-looking jacket on. I don't know. I just don't like that. I like it when he has his shirt off. Pause. No diddy. <laughs> but this one is pretty much, uh, it's just not doing it for me, in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, because Liu Kang's skins are pretty much damn near the same okay they are damn near the same they're pretty much no shirt pants bandana it's pretty much the same thing you know it's pretty much the same thing but in terms of this i think the no shirt is his iconic thing and when they gave him a shirt i don't know it just he just doesn't look like a martial artist in my opinion in, in my personal opinion okay you know just let me know in the comment section about what you guys think but this this one can go either way i guess but yeah i just don't like the mortal kombat 11 the false skin 
Next up is Kung Lao. Now Kung Lao shared the same game and having the worst costume and that is also in Mortal Kombat 11. It's just because these costumes don't really give them the Shaolin look, the martial artist look that they deserve. Instead of looking like an outfit fit for a Shaolin warrior, it looks more like armor that is very frail for like an old school holy knight or something like that. Now next up is Raiden the Thunder God. Now if we weren't just doing Mortal Kombat games, his worst costume would definitely have to be in Injustice. That costume just looks weird to me. I don't like the weird opening in his chest and the costume just seems a little off. Yeah, we're going to use that word. It just seems a little off. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think of this. But since we're doing Mortal Kombat games, I'll have to say his worst costume is in Mortal Kombat X and that is his Tron costume, the futuristic Raiden. Raiden pretty much has no bad skins, but if I had to pick one, this would have to be the worst, as it doesn't really fit his Thunder God style, and for a futuristic costume, it just looks really lazy in my opinion. If for some reason they made him look really old, I don't know why. Like the beard? I don't know. The beard just... I don't know. It just... I don't know. It just doesn't fit him. It just makes him look old for some reason, but he's supposed to be a god, and gods don't age. So it's like, why? Why would you make him look like that? I mean, I understand that it's futuristic. So it's in the future, but he wouldn't age. He's been like the same age for like thousands of years, right? He looks the same as if when he fought with um, the great Kung Lao and stuff like that. So why would he age now? It just doesn't make sense. And the costume, it just looks lazy, you know? It doesn't really... They could have did better for a futuristic costume, basically what I'm trying to say. Especially for a god. Next up is Melina. Now, Melina in MK1, that is her worst skin in my opinion. All of her skins are good. I don't really think she has any bad skins at all. And the MK1 skin is pretty good, but it is the worst out of all of them. Just because her old skins kind of have that sexy, mm, beasty type of animalistic type of element to them. And in Mortal Kombat 1, she's supposed to be royalty. And I don't really think that this costume really does her 100% justice in royalty. Um, as she is very pretty, you know, the face scan and stuff like that. But we're not going off the face scan. We're going off the just the pure aesthetic of the costume. Now, the costume does look good. But Melina is known for showing a little bit more skin. Being a little bit more sexy and brutal looking. And Mortal Kombat 1 is a R-rated game that is based on gore and fighting and blood and stuff like that. So, you know, these Mortal Kombat 1 skins that show less skin and are you know less sexy or you know less dominant and showing like the muscles and stuff like that and the skin of the character it kind of dials back what the character is represented in in the older games you know so in Mortal Kombat 1 although it's not a bad skin and it does look good for Melina um, for what she's supposed to be in Mortal Kombat 1 as well as what she was before this skin doesn't really do her 100% justice compared to her other skins yeah and last but not least is Katana, the Empress of Outworld slash Adenia. Now, her worst skin is definitely have to be in Mortal Kombat X in my opinion, and that is her Revenant skin. Now, her Revenant skin, compared to all the other Revenant skins, which are decent to good, like Liu Kang's and Kung Lao's are good, Jax's is okay, but hers is just the worst out of all of them in my opinion. She kind of looks like she's off of drugs or something, I don't know, like, her headpiece, I just hate her Revenant headpiece. I wish they would at least let her have her hair still, like Liu Kang has his hair, and even though Jax is bald, you can still see his beard and stuff, but they have her this weird demonic looking crown helmet thing? I don't know, it just doesn't look right to me. This is her worst skin in my opinion, it doesn't do her any justice, even for an evil person. They could at least make her look elegant or beautiful or sexy or something, just because you're evil or you're zombified. You don't have to look this bad, like Liu Kang, in my opinion, and Kung Lao have great Revenant skins, but this one is just, ugh, it's just disgusting. Well, that's my list for the worst costumes for each character in Mortal Kombat. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. I love having discussions with you guys. If you guys would like to see a part two to this, let me know. And if you also would like to see a part two to the video that I did previously, which was the best costumes in Mortal Kombat history, let me know below. And if you're new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. It literally takes no time at all, no effort, and it takes no money at all. It's completely free, and it helps my channel and helps this video get to lots of viewers who will like it as well. 
it's waffles and i'm out once again make sure you like comment share subscribe and i'm out peace